asking, I'm on the road a lot for work. Uh, not doing this, I'm just also your Uber Eats driver, so. so. Because, like, sometimes my GPS messes up, and I'm on the street, like, I was, I was on the street, and I'm like, ah, oh, like, where am I? But I saw a neighbor dude come out, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, is this Israel Street? And he's like, yes, of course, why, why wouldn't it be? But then the other neighbor comes out, I was like, no, no, this is Palestine Street, just like it always has been. And then this dude is like, oh, well, if that's the case, why has my house been here longer than your house has been here? And he's like, oh, well, you know the answer to that one because you bulldozed my old one to build that. It's like my ancestors have been in this neighborhood hundreds of years before you even got here. And he's like, oh, well, if you want to play that game, my ancestors have been here thousands of years before that. And if you've got a problem with that, you can take it up with God. And he, he's down to the other neighbor, he's getting real pissed. He's like, oh man, and he's like, that's too far to go back. Like, that's too far to go back. He's getting real Like, he just, he starts lopping eggs at this guy's house. He's just like, egg after egg, because the eggs are not hitting. Okay, he has a complex netting system around his house. Like, you could say it's like dome-like in nature. Okay, and he's like, yeah, you like that? You like that? That's because the United States doesn't spend $3.8 billion a year for this road to come up as Palestine Street on Google Maps. And I'm, and I'm just like, oh, I'm just trying to make a delivery. That's yeah, they, it, you know, it was from a steakhouse, they ordered a Gaza Strip, and it's... 